Hi everyone, I'm Miss Jan from the Woodlands Children's Museum. Welcome to the at home edition of Storybook Theater. And I have Gus with me today, and he's going to help me with our story song before we get started. So here we go. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, nod your head. If you want to hear a story, nod your head. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, nod your head. If Wanna hear a story say, Hooray for moms! That's very good. If you wanna hear a story say, Hooray for moms! If you wanna hear a story, if you wanna hear a story, if you wanna hear a story say, Hooray for moms! Very good. Gus, take a bow. And you know why he said hooray for moms? Mother's Day is coming up. And we're going to have a story today that is about moms. So Gus, thank you very much for helping me with our song. I'm going to let you sit down here so you can listen. And I want to wish, oops, he might take a nap. Uh, I want to wish all the moms a very happy Mother's Day. And we love all of you. Um, I am a mom, and so I'm going to take a minute to show you my children when they were little. This is Casey, and he's about four or five in that picture. And this is Sammy, and she's probably two-ish in this picture. Here we go. That's a, a heavy frame. Um, This is Casey and Sammy now, fast forwarding about 30 years. So a lot of times I think of my children, even though they're all grown up, I think of them when I pick some of the stories I read to you. And today's story reminds me of Casey. And the first time I heard this story was when Casey was about four years old. So let's go to the treasure chest. story is Bread and Honey, and it's written and illustrated by Frank Ash. Now, when Casey was four, his preschool class did a Mother's Day tea, and they acted out this story for all the moms, and uh, I've never forgotten that. I can still see all the little guys pretending they were the characters in this story. So I'm going to share this story with you today. Okay, and we're also going to make this a tribute to our moms. So, Bread and Honey by Frank Ash. One morning, when Ben was getting ready for school, his mother took a loaf of fresh bread out of the oven. Can I have a piece? asked Ben. You know how good fresh bread smells. I know a lot of moms have been baking bread lately. Even I tried my hand at making bread. The bread is too hot now, said his mother. But you can have some when you get home. With honey on top, asked Ben. Yes, said his mother, with lots of honey on top. Okay, said Ben and he hurried off to school. That day, Ben painted a picture of his mother. Oh, that is so nice. When the bell rang, he decided to take it home. On the way, he stopped to show the picture to Owl. You see Owl up there in the tree? Oh, I love it, said Owl. But 
You made the eyes too small. I have my paint box with me, said Ben. Maybe I can fix that. Oh, there we go. Fine work, said Al. So he made some bigger eyes, just like owls. At the riverbank, Ben showed the picture to Alligator. I just love it, said Alligator. But the mouth needs to be much bigger. How's that? asked Ben. Much better, said Alligator. Looks like an alligator mouth, doesn't it? A little way down the path, Ben met Rabbit and showed her the picture. I love it, said Rabbit, but the ears are too short. Oh, that's easy to fix, said Ben. How's that, asked Ben. Wonderful, said Rabbit. Kind of looks like rabbit's ears, doesn't it? When Ben showed Elephant his picture, Elephant said, oh, I love it, but the nose is too small. Once again, Ben took out his paints. How's that? asked Ben. Unforgettable, said Elephant. You see Elephant's nose in the picture. Then Ben showed his picture to Lion. I love it, said Lion. But you forgot a fluffy mane. How's that? asked Ben. A picture to be proud of, said Lion. Kind of looks like Lion. When Ben was almost home, he saw Giraffe and showed him his picture. I just love it, said Giraffe. But the neck is too short. How's that? asked Ben. Perfect, said Giraffe. Giraffe's neck. Ben ran the rest of the way home. When he got there, he said to his mother, Look what I made! A picture of you! I love it, said his mother. Just the way it is, asked Ben. Just the way it is, said his mother. And she hung it on the refrigerator. Then she gave Ben a thick slice of homemade bread with lots of honey on it. Don't you love that story? Now, what I would like to suggest, if you want to do something special for mom, why don't you draw a picture of your mom and give it to her as a present for Mother's Day? Um, and another thing you can do is maybe tell her this story that I just read to you and I'm, I'm going to show you how to do that. You don't need to have this book at home, but just kind of remember what happened in the story with Ben. So I'm going to remind you of some of the things. Remember, he got up, was ready to go to school. He smelled delicious bread baking, but when it came out of the oven, it was too hot to eat. So mom promised after school he could have a big slice with honey. 
So when he got to school, he made that special picture of his mom. And it looked like this. Kind of looked like that. Let's see. I think my picture slipped just a little bit. There we go. So he's so excited about his picture, so he starts walking home and he met one of his friends. The first friend he met, do you remember? It was Al, and he wanted to know what Al thought of his picture. And Al said, oh, it's really nice, but the eyes are too small. So then he was using paint, but I'm going to use markers, so... Oh, and Al said, oh, that is much better. So Ben kept walking home. And then he met Alligator. And he wanted Alligator to see his picture. And Alligator liked it, but do you remember what Alligator told him? The mouth is much too small. It needs to be bigger. So Ben took out his paintbrush. I'm taking out my marker. Do, do, do. What do you think? An alligator said, Oh, that's much better. So Ben continued to walk a little more, and he met his friend Rabbit. And do you remember what Rabbit said about his picture? The ears were too, what, short. So Ben said, no problem. And now we're, we're gonna give it a little bit of rabbit pink, bunny pink in the ears. There we go. Ears will be much better. I'm going in a hurry here. But this is just to give you an idea. Rabbit looked at it and said, oh, much, 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 much better. So Ben continued to walk home. And do you remember who he met next? He met his friend Elephant. And what did Elephant say? Nose is much too small. Oh, no problem, said Ben. So he just did a little... A little change. And let's let's make him look kind of elephanty here. Let's give him a little bit of elephant gray. How's that? And you know what elephant said? Unforgettable. Did you ever hear people say elephants never forget? Well, he's not going to forget this picture. So Ben ran along and met his friend Lion. And Lion liked it, but he said there was one thing that was missing. Do you remember what that was? The fluffy mane. Okay, so Ben said, not a problem, not a problem. Here we go. Ta-da! Lion said, that's a picture to be proud of. So Ben ran along, and he met one more friend along the way, and that was Giraffe. And Giraffe liked the picture, but found a problem. He said, the neck is too short. Okay, so Ben made a little adjustment. How is that, Giraffe? And Giraffe said, it is perfect. So at that point, Ben didn't stop anymore. He ran all the way home with his picture. And as soon as he got in the house, he said, Mom, I made this picture for you. And his mom said, I love it. And Ben asked her, just the way it is? 
and mom said, just the way it is. And she hung the picture up on the refrigerator and then she cut a big slice of bread and put lots of honey on it. So aren't moms wonderful? I'm sure your mom is just like that. And no matter what we do, they love it and they love us just the way they are. So I hope you enjoyed today's story and I encourage you to, to draw a picture for mom and she will love it just the way it is. So until next time, keep a smile on your face and a story and a song in your heart. Bye-bye.